small grey mouse was in search of a house. She scuttled through the wood and then stopped and stood. She looked all around with a twinkle in her eye. And what do you think her little eye did spy? In the middle of a field was a little wooden house. The best sort of home for a small grey mouse. She straightened her dress and knocked on the door. There came no reply, so she knocked once more. She called, Hello, who lives in this house? But no one answered the small grey mouse. So the mouse moved in and was all alone. But at last she had found her very own home. A goggle-eyed frog jumped by one day. She had nowhere to live and nowhere to stay. She looked all around with a twinkle in her eye. And what do you think her goggle eyes did spy? Yes, the little wooden house in the field by the wood. As a place to stay, it looked very good. So she called, Hello, who lives in this house? I do, came a voice. I'm a small grey mouse. And who are you? Have you come a long way? Yes, I'm a goggle-eyed frog needing somewhere to stay. Then come on inside and share this house with me. We can be friends. Please won't you have some tea? Along came a hurrying, a long-legged hare. He'd been looking all day for a house to share. He looked all around with a twinkle in his eye, reared up on his legs, and what did he spy? Yes, the little wooden house in the field by the wood. As a place to share, it looked very good. He called, Hello, who lives in this house? I do, said the frog, and I do, said the mouse. And who are you? I'm a long-legged hare, and I'm looking for a house. Are you willing to share? Of course, said the frog. Of course, said the mouse. We're happy to share our little wooden house. So the hare and the frog and the small grey mouse lived happily together in the little wooden house. Hello, who lives in this house? Knock on the window to see. Is anyone at home? The house is empty. I think I live here. This house needs a good clean. Are you going to help me? The curtains are crumpled. Can you straighten them out? That's better. Let's get cleaning. It's nice to live in a sparkling clean house. Wooden house, wooden house. Who lives in this wooden house? I am a small grey mouse. And who are you? I am a frog. Let's live together in this little wooden house. Thank you. How can I help you in return? Will you help me man the roof to stop it leaking? The house is nice and snug and dry now. Come in. The oven is on and we can all have some tea now. Wooden house! Wooden house! Who lives in the wooden house? I am a small grey mouse. And who are you? I am a frog. And who are you? I am a hare. Do you live in this house? We can have lots of fun together. Where's your door? We need to hang the door. Please, can you help me? It's very heavy and too difficult for us to lift. I'll help to hang the door for you. At last, it looks like a real house.
Then, one fine day, a fox trotted by. She knocked on the window, and she said with a sigh, Hello, little house, is anyone there? Yes, we are, said the mouse and the frog and the hare. Who are you? They inquired, for they wanted to know. I'm a friendly furry fox and I've nowhere to go. Then come and live with us. And we'll show you that we care, said the mouse and the frog and the long-legged hare. The very next day, a lonely wolf walked by. He knocked on the door with a tear in his eye. Hello, little house. Does anyone live here? I'm a lonely little wolf and you've nothing to fear. We do, said the frog, hare, fox and mouse. Come and live with us in our little wooden house. So the frog and the hare and the fox, wolf and mouse lived happily together in the little wooden house. We are so lucky to have friends to have fun with. Shall we put on a concert? Frog, start the concert and we will all follow. They laughed and they played and they all sang a song until a sleepy roly-poly bear came along. Who lives here? They heard the bear roar. We do, they all said from behind the closed door. And who are you? Your voice is very deep. I'm a roly-poly bear in need of a sleep. But you're far too big to sleep in this place. Try the roof instead. There just might be space. So the roly-poly bear climbed up with a roar. Then he shut his eyes tight and began to snore. He snored and he rolled and the house began to shake. The small grey mouse feared a massive earthquake. Watch out! The house is tumbling! They all ran outside. It was a huge, roly-poly bear house landslide. Oh dear, said the frog. Oh dear, said the mouse. Look what has happened to our little wooden house. Oh dear, said the fox and the wolf and the hare. Once there was a house, now there's only rubble there. Then the bear woke up and rolled out from the rubble. I'm terribly sorry. I know I caused you trouble. He was covered in dust, so he gave himself a shake. I'll build you another house now that I'm awake. Let's build it together, said the little grey mouse. Yes. Together we can build a bigger, better house. They all agreed and started to get busy. They worked so fast it sent them all quite dizzy. The bear was very strong and built the walls from stone. And the wolf made doors and windows for their lovely new home. The hare made the roof and the mouse cleaned for hours. The fox dug the garden, and the frog planted flowers. At last, their work was done. It's a very fine house. Let's go inside for tea, said the little grey mouse. They all laughed and sang, and they danced with glee, and lived together happily and comfortably. I accidentally broke the wooden house. I am so sorry. Don't worry. I will build a new one. A strong house needs a solid stone foundation. Can you help me find some stones? Great! Now we will build the frame with timber. 
Great job! Now we need to cover the roof with tiles. So the house is ready. It is much better and bigger than the previous one. I think the wolf should paint it. Wolf! Wow! You've built an amazing house with the bear. Let's paint it. Can you find a brush? The house is so beautiful. It would be lovely to have a garden around our house. Frog, where are you? There's no lawn here, but I've already planted some flowers. Let's water them so the flowers grow faster. We've done a great job. Nothing can destroy our house. Yes, we can even invite some more animals to live with us. I think we have the best house in the forest. <laughs>